Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. For those who don't know, I did move into a new home and I will be using this room as my new coupon room. So I'm going to show you how I got this look. Keep on watching. So the first thing I did was I went to Home Depot and I picked up some paint. I was looking for more of like a gray color, not too dark. It looks white on the container but it's actually a light gray. This paint was $48 for one gallon. And I also went and picked up some more storage shelves. Um, they were $45 each. So here's a close up of the color that I picked. This paint is by Marky. And it's like a light gray. I'm going to show you guys how it looks up against the wall. So the first thing we did was we lined the floor and the corners with tape. And we also used a plastic wrapping to protect the carpet. And this plastic wrapping came from the big items that I had in my apartment, such as my refrigerator and my couch. Here's another close-up of the paint that I got in the name of the paint. So we're going to stir this paint up and make sure that the color is mixed very well. And then we're going to begin the painting process. We started with the corners first, so we can make it a lot easier when it's time to use the actual roller on the walls. As you can see, we have the whole room lined with painter's tape. And once again, we're still continuing to paint all the corners of the walls and at the bottom of the base of the floor. So now we're going to use our roller brush throughout the whole walls. If you look closely, you can see that the paint is a light gray. Which is the look that I was going for. I didn't want it too dark. I didn't want it too light. And it almost looks like a white, so this is the look I was going for, and I'm happy that it turned out this way. So here I am actually painting myself. I finally decided to go ahead and help to make the process a lot faster. So here's one completed wall as you can see and we have about two more walls to go. So here are all my bins that have all of my coupons in it. Uh, I have about nine bins I do believe or probably more and all of my coupon products are going to be placed on the new shelf. So here I am attempting to put together these shelves. I did have a hard time putting them together because I had the legs put on wrong, but eventually I had figured it out. And right here, I did have a hard time putting the bottom part on. There was a plastic piece that was stuck inside that I couldn't get off. Here we go. So now we're getting somewhere and I'm almost done completing the shelf. And this is what it looks like after it's completed. I also did have an extra shelf that I had in my apartment that you'll see that I placed in the middle. And now I'm going to go ahead and organize all of my items back on the shelf. Look at all this stuff. So this is what it looks like now in the process. And I have a whole bunch of razors. I just had to show you guys all the razors that I have. And here I am putting up more of the laundry products. Almost there but not quite. More bins, more stuff to put away. And this is actually the final look. Um, here are the shelves that I did. Everything is organized by section. 
Here's another picture right here. And this is the final look of my coupon room. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I do have more things I need to put away that will go in the closet, which will be in another video. So hope you enjoyed. See you next time. Ooh. Mm -hmm.